It would occur to nobody that the famous AK-47 was born inside a shabby workshop. Kara didn't even graduate from elementary school. His illustration was not professional enough, and he was a tank soldier. He was not good at operating machining tools either. How could he possibly produce the delicate parts of firearms? Just like that they started making AK-47. Kara could work using only one hand. He cut the gun barrel using a manual saw. He drilled holes into the barrel on the bench. Then he heat the barrel and it underwent an annealing treatment. So the barrel could be stronger and harder. People are working with remarkable efforts. One modification by another. The rudiment of the AK-47 was finally produced. On the day that the gun was to be tested, he took AK-47 and walked out of the workshop. Everyone followed him. The administrator was flabbergasted. Is this a strike? The testing was simple and brutal. On the petrol barrel in the front, a veteran tested the firearm by himself. He flipped the safety switch, aimed and shot at the barrel.